Welcome to another episode of Best of America by Horseback. I'm Tom C. And I'm Dale Shields. We're in the heart of America. We're near West Plains, Missouri at the Flying R Ranch. We're on the North Fork of the White River. It's a great place to visit. The trees are in full color. We have new friends and old friends. This is gonna be a wonderful show. Terry and Pam Carroll have put together a great facility here, great trails, and uh, we're gonna show you some scenes uh, of the footage here. It's just absolutely fantastic. This place has to be on your bucket list. You really have to come here. You're watching Best of America by Horseback. We'll be right back. On this episode of Best of America by Horseback, Tom C. and Dell Shields are riding with viewers in Missouri during the peak of the fall foliage at the Flying R Ranch near West Plains. Tom and the crew visited the Flying R in the spring when the horse camp was fairly new and decided right away this was a place they wanted to come back to ride in the fall. The ranch has a variety of terrain and beautiful views of the Ozark Mountains. The fall foliage gives an altogether different look to the Flying R and allows deeper glimpses into the woods, revealing many more unique rock formations that blanket the ranch. For trail riders, the Flying R offers a wide variety of trails, from steep single track trails to miles of flat open riding. Owners Terry and Pam Carroll are constantly developing the trails here. Their goal is to give guests great trail riding experiences. Tom spoke with owners Terry and Pam Carroll about the trails at the Flying R Ranch. You know, here at the Flying R Ranch, you've got trails that go everywhere, including right behind your house. They're riding through right now. How many miles of trails, including right behind your house. Well, we, we have uh, just hundreds of miles of, of, of trails that we can ride because we, we have opportunities to ride out on the National Forest in several places and there's many trails that leave the ranch uh, onto the National Forest. But uh, within 20 miles of us, there's nine trailheads that has a complete trail system with them. Uh, and some of those would be Devil's Backbone, Hammond's Camp, uh, Noblet Lake, Horton Cemetery, and, and Indian Creek, and others, and we'll have trailers available where you can bring your, your living quarters trailer in and come in and, and use one of our trailers to haul out and, and ride those trails also. But uh, we have on the ranch itself... Very uh, happy people. Very happy people. <laughs> we're, we're, we're excited about that. We're tickled about that. Explain for our folks um, what you saw today. We went out on the trail, some of the uh, the things that we saw in the river crossings and uh, the prairies. Had very beautiful riding. Um, I've been in a lot of places, and this is a top-notch trails with beautiful views. Um, you've got your hillsides, you got your your prairies, you got your water crossings. Um, nice switchbacks. Very good riding. When you're looking at the trails here, what did you expect and describe them for people that have not ridden here and aren't familiar with the trails? Well, they weren't real, really strenuous trails. There was a few high hills and enough, just enough to make the horses really prove they're worth their weight. But uh, we had a good time. I mean, they're, they're pretty good trails, go through some rivers and through some fields and through the woods. Oh, Were you nervous about crossing the river thinking maybe it's muddy or no. something? The river didn't bother me. A lot of people get worried about crossing the river and getting to the mud and so forth, but this is pretty hard bottom all the way. Oh yes, very good bottom for crossing with your horse, uh, no problem. It's not deep, uh, it's not really swift, and uh, it's good clear water so you can see how to pick your way through. Nearly all of the trails leave the main camp area near the horse stalls via three main trails and meander down to the North Fork of the White River. There, riders have a beautiful river crossing, which serves as a great spot to stop and take pictures to remember this great riding locations. 
Our ride photographer did just that and took many beautiful shots right in the middle of the river. There are literally hundreds of acres to explore at the Flying R Ranch, and the Mark Twain National Forest borders the ranch on three sides, giving visitors even more riding opportunities. The trails here, what did you expect? Were you disappointed? Uh, were they too rough, too gentle, what? I don't have a problem with any trail. I can ride any place. I have a problem with my, taking my wife trail riding because she has a phobia of cliffs and stuff. And here, the, the trails that are steep with the steep blood off are very short, so she gets through it fine. And the rest of the trails are just flat and, and rolling. I mean, they're nice in the woods, out of the woods, across the river. The river isn't very deep, so. I think it's the, uh, the, there's no stress, you know, when you're out there trail riding, you've got your horse, you go out there, you're on the trails, you're in God's country. And I think it's the enjoyment and just the relaxing, um, just being out there with nature. And I think that people just love to be out there without a time limit, um, don't have a watch to look and just enjoy themselves out there. You are constantly at ease. I mean, it is so relaxing emotionally just to get on that horse and ride through those trails, see the beautiful scenery, and just bond with your horse and, and just enjoy nature. I mean, you're not competing against anyone. You're not trying to beat someone else's time. Um, and it's wonderful. Not to mention the bonds that you make with the other people that are in the campground and the people that you're riding with. I mean, that's what life's all about, isn't it? Meeting new people, making new friends, and that's what you get with trail riding. watching Best of America by Horseback. You stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Best of America by Horseback. We are visiting the Flying R Ranch in Missouri during the peak of the fall riding season. What does come into a place like this, the beauty of the place, the people here, do to to your health? Uh, so it's just like a, a, breath, a breath of a fresh air, you know, you uh, you got good folks and good people and you're always around good folks and good people and, and uh, you know, everybody's been real nice to us. We couldn't have more beautiful weather here in Missouri. You live in Arkansas, not too far away. Yes, sir. What was the trip like coming here? How easy it, is it to get here? Uh, what do you think about the place? The trip up here was really easy. We got good roads coming up to here, and uh, as far as the places, this is what I call heaven. There's nothing better than right here. One of the things people need to know about is when you're coming into a camping area, what the facilities are like. How hard is it to park here? What did you find as far as places to put your horse? The stalls were really nice. The, the parking areas are real easy to get in, easy to set up. Uh, the stalls are real roomy for them, got real good gates on it. Um, been to places where they weren't so good, and this is, they really got it set up pretty nice here. The first thing I noticed, uh, all your campsites are level, and for, they're for individual trailers. They've got their own electric, their own water. They're easy to get in and out of. The stalls are good. Excellent place. One thing that we've tried hard to do as people have come is to listen to the things that they would like to see us fix or change or, or help with and, and try to implement those things and get them in place. Uh, you know, when we first started out, we had the lift up stall doors and it just was too much of a challenge for so many of the people that came here, especially the ladies. and so. Uh, this last winter, we took the opportunity to change all that and hinge them, and uh, it's worked out really well, and, and people are really appreciative of those kinds of things. Um, 
and we'll continue to try to do that because we want this to be uh, a place where, where they would really enjoy it and know that we're going to take care of them. I heard, uh, I heard a lady this morning, I believe it was, at breakfast, who was praising you because of the horse stalls, the way the, the stalls are set up. Uh, the shavings barns are so conveniently located. Uh, how'd, how'd you get that all set up? Well, you know, it's a, it's a lot of work to have to uh, maintain those stalls and have to uh, put your shavings in and clean them out. So we did, we, we put a uh, shaving stall at the end of each barn and uh, a facility to, to do the uh, waste uh, close to every barn. And we work hard to, to uh, keep that cleaned up and out of there as it, as it needs called for. But uh, yeah, it can be a lot of work taking care of a horse. And so we, we want people to be able to come here and enjoy what they're doing and have more time on the trails. And so all those things are important. Is this the first time you've been here? Yes, sir. Tell us your impressions. What do you think? What did you expect and what did you find? Well, we saw it on your last TV show and you said you were coming back here again. So we expected to see something pretty spectacular and we weren't let down when we got here. It's this nice place. People are fantastic. Campsites are as good as they get. I mean, you can't pull through all of them. Something you got to back into, but still, there's eat incredibly accessible. What do people look for when they're looking for a place? You know, I think one of the most important, place, important things is the facilities. I mean, parking. Um, this place is probably the best place I've seen for parking vehicles. You've got really level sites. They can accommodate huge buses, big trailers, small trailers. They're easy to get in, easy to get out, and it's just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful setting. Um, if they've not had a lot of experience driving that big truck and trailer around, well, this place has got plenty of room to accommodate them. They're not going to be squished in, or um, the, the trails are, are relatively easy. I mean, you've got some rolling hills, you've got some shallow water crossings. There's nothing that's going to make someone have an anxiety attack for their first time. But it's, it's so much more than a place to ride. You have cabins, you're along the river where people can do fishing retreats, church retreats, corporate retreats, and uh, there are not a lot of horse-related places that can, can do that. Tell us what you have to offer. Well, with, the, with our lodge and, and the kitchen and the setup we have there, we will be able to do uh, family reunions and weddings, and we can cater those things, uh, along with having uh, accommodations for big groups to stay our cabins. Uh, will sleep as many as 16 people. Uh, that's before you put anybody on the floor. We have our bunkhouse rooms and then we also, um, in the spring, we'll have a, our, our old home place. Uh, we, will, we will use that also as a, as a cabin and, and that's quite large and that'll sleep quite a few people. So we're excited about the growth. We're excited about uh, the things that are happening and, uh, and the opportunities that uh, we're able to provide for people. We're gonna get uh, bigger into the canoes and kayaks on the river. Uh, so that uh, this year, you know, it was so hot and dry that people would come and ride in the morning and then use the river in the afternoon to uh, cool off and have a great time. There's great fishing all up and down the river. Um, you can uh, bass fish, you can trout fish. We have a lot of uh, German browns, uh, just a great, great uh, number of species of fish in the river also. Terry and Pam Carroll have put together a wonderful riding facility for the riders here. The campgrounds are outstanding. The horse stalls are just uh, so accessible. The trails are beautiful. Stay tuned. At the Flying R here, my understanding is, and this is my first time here, that I'm so impressed with what I've seen and experienced. Um, basically, uh, this place has been developed in about a year and a half. Yes, it's brand new. It is new. Um, and yet they, it's like it's been here for it's 10 very, years or 15 with all that they have developed. Yes, they're very established. It's like they have been here. They've got it together. Um, they enjoy, obviously they enjoy what they're doing. Um, very people friendly and uh, they want to make their customers, their riders happy and feel at home.
to have a, a place where you feel safe, where you can come and enjoy um, the outdoors together with your family and not feel worried that there's going to be some elements that are not in your liking. And I think that people will be excited about coming here and they can bring their children or their grandchildren and enjoy the facilities um, at a greater extent than we've provided so far. When you come to visit the Flying R Ranch, you will see firsthand how wonderful this ranch is for any level rider and even non-riding members of your family. They are constantly updating and adding new things to do at the ranch, like enjoying water sports on the river. They have rental canoes, kayaks, and tubes so you can go fishing or just enjoy a relaxing float downriver. The ranch has the hitchin post, which carries trail riding equipment such as halters, bridles, blankets, and more tack, as well as souvenir hats, shirts, and jackets, and our favorite, hand-dipped ice cream. Tom, I want to take this opportunity to share with you uh, how grateful we are to have uh, been able to have Best of America on our ranch and to support us and to uh, help us as we try to get things started off. You know, we, we just, we started our webpage in March of last year and uh, it takes a while for that to go through a process on, on the internet. And I, I don't know enough about it. But what I do know is we started out with like 300 hits a day in March and in April it went to 600 and uh, May, the season's really getting gone. We were up to 1100, we were quite excited about that. In June and July, we got up to 2500 and then August the 10th, the first segment of the Flying R Ranch on the Best of America aired. And our hits on our website went to over 33,000 hits that day. How grateful we are for that. The days following, we were at 10,000 hits a day. The phone started ringing, we started making reservations that uh, were just beyond our expectation, our wildest dreams. And that went on for uh, a good while. And as that backed off, you begin to wonder, Wow, that just uh, that was an awesome opportunity. And you aired it again for us on September the 28th. And we had went back to our, our normal, uh, actually not our normal, we went back to, 20, to 500, 5,000 hits a day. And, and then you aired it again on September the 28th. It shot back up to 27,000 hits that day and 10,000 hits a day after that for several days. And uh, the phone started ringing, we started making reservations. Uh, in excess of over what we normally did. And after that, our, our, our reservations and hits have stayed up on a steady basis, and we are grateful to the Best American Horseback for that opportunity in our lives. I uh, wanted to thank you personally and shake your hand and, and thank you so take much. that opportunity. Thank you. The Flying R Ranch is open year round, and no matter what time of year you visit, you will have a great time. For more information about visiting the Flying R Ranch in West Plains, Missouri, call 417-469-2267 or log on to their website www.flying-r-ranch.com. Dill, the only disappointment I had being here at the Flying R Ranch, Missouri while we were working our friend Mike Phillips from Alabama went down there on his horse, rode down the river and went fishing and did quite well at it. We're not going to let that happen when we come back. This is a wonderful place to kayak, canoe, fish, ride. They have so much to offer. I am really excited about this place that we can recommend to everybody. We want all of our friends to come here and ride with us and to ride at any opportunity because it is a fantastic place to be. As always, we had a wonderful banquet for all our friends, both new and old. Dill, you did Cowboy Church. Your music was fantastic as always. This has just been the very best. I want everybody to come put Flying R on their checklist of places to ride in the upcoming season. And I ask you, our friends, both new and old, to visit our website, www.bestofamericabyhorseback.com see where we're going to be riding so you can come and join us and enjoy this beautiful country we have. I'm Tom C. and this is Best of America by Horseback.